Hello everyone, I'm BadNobiX, and today we're gonna talk about, like, we're gonna talk a little bit about shadows. Somebody asked me how to make shadows a little bit brighter, or softer, a little bit of extra control on them. So, if there's a few ways to go about this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that directional light. We're gonna bring in a new one. We're gonna show you how to get different lights. Oh! As well as, I saw somebody talk about these previews. There's actually a way, but without building lighting, in order to get rid of it. Uh, if you go into show, then you go to visualize, you can see preview shadows indicator. If you turn that off, the preview will disappear, so you can keep editing without building your lighting constantly. So there, there's there's that. So, there's a few ways. This is pretty bright because I've got my bloom set to pretty high, so we're actually going to go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Drop in our skylight, and we're going to go ahead and go over to the intensity scale and turn it on turn it up and or down based on how strong your sky is and such so as you can see it's a little bit softer there's a blue tint to it now if I turn it up more there's a bigger one I want to keep it at two because I don't want to get that to go too bright go ahead and build this but one thing that'll power it up is if you go down to your directional light you turn up the indirect lighting intensity so if you turn this up it'll actually like where the shadows are it actually bounces the light a little bit more or calculates a little bit different so if we go ahead and build this, I'm going to go ahead and drop in the light mass volume because I didn't do that. All right, as you can see, the shadows are a little bit like weaker now. The light's a bit more underneath it. That's because we, as I said before, increased the uh, indirect lighting intensity. As you can see, it's at two, so it, it's often. If you notice the shadows look weird, you can, there's two different ways. You can raise the resolution of the light map on here, or you can go over to your directional light and scroll down until you see dynamic shadow uh, cascade map or yeah as you can see it instantly does it and you don't even have to rebuild your lighting so it fixes all the lightings you can change the number of dynamic shadows to be lower or higher depending on how much detail you want i'm going to just turn it up to four so we get the nice crisp look ah shadow amount so once the cascade's on, you can lower this, and it actually lowers the amount of shadows to where you can have none, or you can like have it really soft. So if you turn it down very lightly, you can get some nice looks, see? So I don't like to lower the shadow amount too much, because it looks weird. It can look weird, but if you do it right, see? You get a nice, clean look. Everything turned down this a little bit more to two, so it all fits a bit together more. So it was just a little bright. So one thing that's also important with your skylight is it's currently casting shadows. If we turn that off, it turns off the shadow cast. So it also brightens up the area. So that's one other thing you should do with your, with your skylight is turn off the shadow cast. As you can see, it just goes through the trees now and it lights up the whole area. It gets along the trees. So those are a few different ways you can increase the like in quality of your shadows and everything. Indoors, it's really important to use that indirect lighting intensity because... Alright, but those are quite a few different ways that you can fix up the lights, the shadows, make them look better. I know we didn't talk about it too much, but there's there's honestly not much else you need to do. You There are, there are some other things you can do, but to keep this video short, I'm only going to show you these few different ones. But as you see, the, these change a heck of a lot. If I get rid of the skylight, the, like the shadows are just super harsh. You really can't see anything underneath them. If I put it back, they're much softer. So if I go down to 0.7, that still gets that nice look. If I change the amount of shadow on there, it can do wonders or horrors, depending on how much you turn it down. But yeah, with all that, you should be able to make quite a few nice, beautiful looking scenes.